The Mine Safety and Health Administration has pulled the plug on what is essentially the mine's primary elevator. If the hoist isn't running, people can't get to work. The Lucky Friday can't bring silver back to the surface. And so the whole operation has to be shut down. The silver shaft is the Interstate 90 of the Lucky Friday mine. Crews use it to get to work. The mile deep shaft carries utilities below the surface. Along the shaft walls are, are power lines, vent lines, and sand lines. And sand lines are the way that we deliver cement and sand to the mine in order to backfill where we have mined from. Over time, some of the sand lines inside the shaft have started leaking, spraying the shaft's interior with a concrete sand mixture that hardens when exposed to air and water. And when they have leaks, it deposits the cement and sand on the walls of the of the shaft creating a loose material on the on the shaft. Mine safety officials worry that loose material could break free, triggering an avalanche inside the shaft that could fall on miners below. And so on September 20th, they ordered the Lucky Friday to remove the unstable man-made rock. We uh, undertook that immediately and in fact had uh, more than 40 man days spent to remove the loose material. Lucky Friday officials felt they had satisfied the order and went back to work, but mine safety officials flunked the shaft again and ordered all unstable rock removed from the shaft, seen here in blue, from top to bottom. When we consider the process, we view the mine as having to be shut down for a period of roughly a year. Uh, as a result of this, it really impacts our people. Uh, and it impacts the community. And so right now, Hecla officials envision having to lay off about 185 Lucky Friday mine workers as well as 50 to 100 contract workers. They think that they can bring back some of the back men back to work this fall when they try to dig a bypass around a rock burst prone, prone area around the 5,900 foot level, but they really don't expect Kalai and Mike to have this mine fully operational until 2013. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.